This ICU is not coming as a knee-jerk re reaction or reflex to COVID. No, it is a necessary component of regional referral hospital. So we thank you. It is not worth its name if a regional referral hospital does not have intensive care unit and the other things. We have been struggling so hard to bring other special specialties in this hospital. And I want to assure you, we are going to continue pushing for that thing to happen. The government of Uganda has done its role, has played its role, because since some time back, we have seen mental health unit completed on this hospital. We have seen nurses hostel completed and occupied. We have seen the upgrading to world-class standards by JICA of outpatient department, dental, gynecological, and obstetric, as well as general theaters here, you know them very well. The private wing, the controversial interns hostel, you have heard of them, oxygen plants and so on. We want to welcome the consultant. The consultant's firm, which is called Arch Design, is well known to me. We've been working together in National Teachers College, where I am the chairman of the rent and finance, and therefore they are within my jurisdiction, and we are in for a good time with them. I think we had a very good time. I am sure we shall also have a good time with them here. Uh, I would like to welcome each and every one of you in your prestigious capacities. Uh, what we are going to do here is construct an ICU building. Basically, to a tune of about of just over 8.5 billion shillings. The contract period is 15 months. Then we have a further one year, 12 months, that is, defects liability period. Uh, this building is going to be on three levels. Uh, the ground, first, and second floor. Uh, Whereas we are talking of ICU, ICU units, the building has a number of other facilities within which are also plugging in and supporting <coughs> the ICU. <clears throat> On the ground floor of this building, yeah, of course we have the general administrative areas and the reception areas, but also we have the dialysis unit. Um, on the first floor is where we are going to accommodate the ICU with a 10 bed capacity with isolation rooms within. We also have uh, accommodation of a theater within that facility on that level. Um, above that, we are going to have also a seven bed HDU uh, with isolation units as well. So those are the main components, but we also have other supporting facilities within to make sure that the facility uh, works as, uh, as per the standards. As a country, we had uh, a huge gap in critical uh, care services, and uh, it was based upon that that as a country we were requested to come up with mechanisms of how we can respond better for the future using uh, the resources that were available to us at that particular point in time. And uh, we are so very grateful that. Uh, of the plans that we had to have uh, intensive care units across the country, and these three were approved and uh, have received funding, and uh, we've had uh, groundbreakings at all the other two, and this is uh, the third and the last that are going to benefit from this funding. Uh, thank you so very much to the World Bank, and uh, we appreciate the leadership of the, of the Ministry of Health uh, that has uh, enabled uh, this uh, relationship to proceed. And, uh, I take this moment to call upon the leadership of uh, the district, the hospital, and the board to make sure that uh, we support the contractors that are going to undertake these works to make sure that a good job is done. As alluded to by the consultant, the designs are currently under review, and that was uh, intended to make sure that we did not only construct a structure that was uh, existed as an ICU, but we needed a structure that was meeting the end user specifications and requirements. We are launching um, this project, this construction site, and handing it over to the contractor on behalf 
of the government of Uganda and the Minister of Health. And we are doing it here and we request our stakeholders who are taking over to do the necessary. Thank you very much. Ah. <laughs> for God and my country. We are very glad that this is coming to reality and we hope that we shall continue working together, all of us here and many others who are not here with us who are supposed to be the stakeholders for the construction of this intensive care unit. There's a lot that normally takes place in as far as the hospital is concerned as being one of the major the client, the receiving client. So we really pledge that we shall work together as a team with uh, the contractor and work together in conjunction with the Ministry of Health and also the local commun community. We shall follow up issues that will need to be done.